JP Morgan Chase announces an infusion of cash for nonprofits on the south and west sides. The bank already supports several economic initiatives in the city. CBS 2's Lauren Victory takes a look at the impact now and in the future. Tommy Blair and Reginald Hughes have tried to keep Pullman primped for decades and say it wasn't easy. Dope infested, uh, slum landlords, and all of that. But over the last few years, a transformation. More than 30 homes rehabbed in the area, in part with dollars from J.P. Morgan Chase. We just have to really think with our nonprofit partners. Bank leaders reaffirmed their commitment today with a new focus on business. Three more years and 40 million more dollars to Chicago's south and west sides. How do we bring resources to commercial and retail opportunities? So these neighborhoods are not only good places to live, but they're good places to purchase goods. An example, this fledgling development near the Pullman National Monument Visitor Center. Chase will eventually help finance loans for local business owners there. So this retail center is going to have new restaurants and dry cleaners uh, and other services to be the gateway to this exciting new National Historic Park. It's all around the corner from Blair and Hughes, who are glad they waited out the bad for good. Everything has changed from night to day. And it's beautiful to have. Neighborhood revitalization here in Pullman is just the tip of the iceberg. Chase's $40 million investment will also support organizations involved in financial literacy, job prep, and small business loans. Reporting on the South Side, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS2 News. Lauren, thank you. Chase's new philanthropic contribution is the company's second largest commitment to a single city following a $150 million investment in Detroit. That is substantial. Yeah, a lot of residents excited. Yes. Well,